I was just getting set up. Hang on a minute. Just give you a little bit of a wipe. There we go. Now you can see my face probably. So I was just getting set up here. I'm at the Waimangu Volcanic Valley in Rotorua, uh, doing some landscape photography with my film camera, working on my project called Volcanic Aotearoa. And um, as you can see, it's very steamy and it's raining. So as I'm loading my film into my film holders and my Hasselblad 503 CW, just as I finished, it started peeing down with rain. So now I'm just waiting for the rain to stop it. It's looking like it's starting to lift. But um, I don't really want to get my camera wet. I don't think film cameras are weatherproof. So I'm just waiting for the rain to stop. And while we're doing that, I just thought I'd quickly explain my first composition. As you can just see out here, in and around the mist, this tree sticking out from the rock edge. You've got all this volcanic rock in the foreground. And I just like the way the, the tree and the volcanic rock kind of pierces into the steam and the way the steam is blowing across the, the bushes on the side of the rock. So when the rain stops, I'm gonna set up my camera with my 150 millimeter lens. I'm gonna get a detailed abstract shot of that tree with the rocks and the mist. Um, in today's video, we're going to be shooting two films. It's going to be uh, Fuji Pro V100 versus Kodak Xchrome He100. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the light's starting to lift a little bit. Hopefully, the rain's going to stop soon, and then I can get set up. Interesting little geezer just going off here. So the Waimangu Valley is probably one of the world's most youngest geothermal areas and it was created in the aftermath of uh, Mount Terawera when that blew up and I recently did a photo shoot of Mount Terawera and if you haven't seen that and you're interested in slide film and geothermal and volcanic stuff then I encourage you to check that out and I'll put a link up here and there'll be one in the description section down below. So the time's currently about quarter to five and this, this geothermal park closes at five. So for today, the time's up. I've got to start making my way out of the park, but I am going to come here tomorrow morning as early as possible and uh, continue my photography. I've actually made a couple of mistakes today, which I'm quite frustrated about. And um, because of the rain and the time I've been rushing, and I ended up wasting a couple of slides. I didn't have the dart slide in properly, and so I wasted a shot there. And then I'd just done a shot, and I didn't put the dart slide back in its uh, right, right position to protect it, to, you know, to protect the film. And as I was putting it in my back in my bag, didn't realize and pushed my camera into my bag and it set the trigger off. And I heard it go off. I thought, oh, that was weird. And I wound it back on. 
and then stupidly tried to put it back in again and it did it again and I was sort of, oh shit, what am I doing? So I wound it back on and then realised the dart slide wasn't in the right place. So it's kind of disheartened me a little bit but that doesn't really matter too much because I've got more film in my bag and I've got tomorrow morning so there's still plenty of opportunity. So I'm going to make my way out of the park now and we'll catch up tomorrow morning. Pretty special place. This is what they call the Inferno Crater and it's quite well known for the blue colour of the water. It's a natural spring, obviously geothermal because of the amount of steam that's coming out. So I was actually here yesterday around five o'clock-ish and I was taking some photos here and I didn't actually do a video at that point because it was raining and my camera was getting wet so I was kind of rushing a little bit and I forgot to do uh, some videoing. So I thought I'd revisit this morning. So yeah, this is the Inferno Crater and this area is quite a special place. It's, like I've said already in the video, it's one of, new, one of the world's youngest geothermal areas. And at one point it was the home of the Waimangu Giza, which Back then was one of the, back in, well back in the early 1900s after the Terrawera eruptions it was the home to this geyser and people would come all over the world to see this geyser because of the height that it would spit out this hot water and steam and boulders and these the steam and boulders and water would go up to 400 metres in the air which is bigger of the Empire State Building. Shortly, shortly after a few years of being inactive, unfortunately the geyser kind of stopped, stopped being active and other geothermal areas like this Inferno Crater started to be more active. It's quite an interesting place. Thank you. 
a slight deviation to the plan this morning, I had the pleasure of meeting another New Zealand based landscape stroke YouTuber, photographer, uh, by a guy called Paul Smith. You probably know him. He's got a YouTube channel called Paul C. Smith Photography. He's a great, great landscape photographer and, and videographer. Um, I love his channel because how he connects, you know, people with the landscape. And if you don't, if you don't know his channel, I'll leave a link here and a link in the description section down below. And go and check his channel out. It's well worth, well worth subscribing to. So this morning we met up really, really early at a place called Kerosene Creek, and uh, we were taking a few images. And I'll put a few images up as I'm talking here. There'll be a couple of my images, and hopefully I'll be able to get some of Paul's images to put up as well. Um, I was shooting uh, colour film, colour slide film, and he was shooting black and white film, Ilford Ortho Plus. And it was cool, it was cool to meet Paul and you know talk through a few things and just talk shop and yeah it was good. So I really enjoyed that. Hopefully we're gonna catch up again in the in the future soon. Yeah, so maybe maybe watch out for that. So today's video is coming to an end and I'd just like to say thank you for sticking with me this this far. Hopefully the images have turned out great and yeah. See you next time and bye for now.